the whiteboard for offer uh, will be connected at time for the second picture. And uh, is it okay now okay, to start? Yes, we can start. Yep. Okay, so uh, thank you. It's a great pleasure to share this afternoon session of uh, this conference in honor of the 60th birthday of my dear friend Takeshi Saito. Before we start, I would like to remind you that we will meet tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. on Gather Town, that you know now, Japan time. Uh, and uh, this is, will be to celebrate uh, Takeshi's uh, birthday as it should be. And now it's my great pleasure to introduce the first speaker, Tomiyuki Abe from Kavli Institute for the Physics and Mathematics of the Universe, IPMU, <laughs> who will speak on ramification theory from homotopical point of view. Uh, thank you very much. Can I start? Do you hear me? Yes, please go. Uh, thank you very much for the introduction. And uh, it's my great honor to <clears throat> talk in such a big conference. Um, uh, the first interaction I had with uh, Takeshi was right after I um, uh, I enrolled the uh, undergraduate uh, course, uh, and right after the um, um, uh, entrance ceremony, I had the occasion to to visit Takeshi's office. At the time, I was uh, I was studying basics of number theory and uh, algebraic geometry as well. And uh, yeah, I asked uh, Takeshi uh, the first first question I asked to Takeshi was, "What is periodic numbers?" I didn't understand. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the like, number that was at the time. And he, his answer was something like, it's a localization of line, okay? So, um, <laughs> well, I, I, was, I was studying some algebraic geometry at the time and I, I, I thought I understand what spec of K, KT was, but I didn't understand at all what he, what he, he meant. And I was pretty shocked. And the second question I think <laughs> I, I asked was something uh, since I was struggling reading Hartshorn at the time, I, I asked for some suggestion to Takeshi. And his, his answer was, well, well, then why don't you read EGA? And he put EGA 1, the first volume of EGA, in front of me. And I was excited because EGA 1 is pretty short uh, compared to Hartshorn. And I asked him if that's enough. And uh, he stood up. And uh, he brought all the volumes of EGA. And no, you, you have to read all of them. And I remember that at the time. <laughs> he said that he remembers all the theorems in EGA. I'm not sure if he still remembers all of them. <laughs> so I, you can imagine, you can easily imagine how shocked I was at the time. And I was pretty much scared from him. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't uh, choose him as a supervisor. But, uh, <clears throat> but uh, <laughs> after I, I started my career, I realized that how directly and indirectly, I was influenced from Takeshi. Uh, uh, several years ago, I proved some part of uh, Lee's conjecture on the existence of crystalline companion. And uh, that was actually uh, taught to me by Takeshi when I was, uh, when, I, when, when I was telling Takeshi that I proved some uh, product formula of this some factor in the Pieta context with uh, Adriano Marmora. And, uh, <clears throat> and he, taught, he taught me the meaning, real, real meaning of a uh, product formula with some factor. And he, he told me that using the method I was studying at the time, I should be able to prove it. So, uh, hmm. and I, did, I took, a, you know, like five or several years to, to, to prove it. But uh, uh, my, my mathematical life should have been dramatically changed if we didn't have Takashi in our group. And I'm in debt to him pretty much. And so after this COVID thing is, uh, is over, I have to invite him for, to, for drinking. And uh, I have to learn a lot, to, a lot of ideas from him. So I hope he will accept <laughs> my offer <laughs> at the time. <laughs> OK, let me uh, switch my screen. And uh, oh, am I sharing mm, thank my you. Am I sharing my screen? Or do you see the screen? Not no, yet. probably not. Not I yet, not yet, not yet. OK, great. Okay, so let's let me start my, my talk. Um, oh, it's gone. Now it's gone. Okay, great. Uh, so let me start from introduction. 
let k be a perfect field and uh, of characteristic p of characteristic p bigger than zero and I fix prime number uh, as usual and at all sheets this is for simplicity at all sheets are or always FL module, I can, uh, yeah, FL module for simplicity. And uh, so here's the main theorem today. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> but yeah, and uh, when I'm given some, some et al. chief or constructible complex of et al. chiefs, uh, constructible. Constructible at all chief. Uh, as you always, uh, uh, as, you, as, as you know, Takeshi uh, defined the characteristic cycle, which is uh, over X. This is over X, which is smooth. This sits inside the child group of dimension X, the middle dimension of T star of X. So, so this is a great, great one of the greatest achievements of Takeshi. He defined so-called characteristic cycle, which encodes the uh, the data so ramification of that. You you like to tell about the it's not ah uh, yeah yeah it's uh, sorry it's V. Mm. Okay, yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. So the theorem is that when I'm given some H with it, which is proper. Uh, between uh, smooth schemes, smooth uh, separated finite type uh, over K. Uh, and I ask, as for simplicity, I assume that these X and Y are equidimensional. This is just for simplicity. Then I have the uh, usual diagram, like X to Y, this is H. And I have T star of X, T star of Y, T star of Y, Y, X. This is just a base change. And here I name it G. This is just base change H bar. <clears throat> and then for F, which is bounded drive category of X, it all sheaves. We have a characteristic cycle of our H star. So we have a direct image and we can take the characteristic cycle of it. And this is equal to H bar star of G streak. I'll tell you what it means in a moment. So, so G bar, uh, G upper shriek, and H, since H bar is uh, is proper, we have a <clears throat> we have a homomorphism between the, child, the corresponding child group. So this equality is inside child group dimension Y of H bar G minus one of SS. This is singular support, so it's a closed sub scheme of uh, of T star of uh, of T star of X, and I have to invert P. <clears throat> so up to in inversion of P, we have a uh, we have the relation between the push forward of the characteristic cycle and the characteristic cycle, and uh, <clears throat> yeah. And like uh, here are known cases. Mark when Y is is equal to the point spec of K. This is, and yeah, I have to assume that X is projected as well, but this is index formula of, uh, I think it's proven by, I don't know who, who proved it, proved it, Valentin or, or Lean or Saito or Takeshi. <laughs> I don't know who, who really did it, but, uh, And uh, if if we have some suitable dimension condition, which holds, which always holds in the characteristic zero case, 
namely if this guy, so this this is equal, this is the same as the one appearing here. If this is in the correct dimension, okay, so the dimension of this guy is equal to the dimension of y, namely, namely this is just a, just a free group. In this situation, plus some some auxiliary conditions, but I I don't remember. I, I don't I don't recall here. Then this is a big theorem Takeshi. Uh, theorem of vector. And another important case is that when k is a finite uh, finite field and uh, so-called a characteristic class version. Class version that I recall in a moment. Yeah, this was shown by, by Umesaki. Uh, Umesaki. Uh, Young, though. Okay. So today I I want to explain the idea of the proof of this uh, the theorem. And uh, but for simplicity, I I for simplicity, I I assume that. K is algebraically closed, which doesn't change the situation too much. And we only focus on the basic class version. We only focus on, on characteristic class version. Char char hmm? Characteristic class version. Uh, namely, so what 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 does it mean by characteristic class? What is what is characteristic class? So this means that so I I denote by small c c of f. This is by definition the the characteristic cycle intersected with the zero section. Okay, so this guy. Is defined as child zero of x, and then the and then the push forward formula. This guy, uh, this equality, can be written much much simpler, namely c c of uh, r of h lower star f is just the same as c c of of f uh, no, 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 no. Uh, h star of c c of f. And uh, I, I will show that this is this equality inside child zero, y of one over p. And uh, this is exactly the content of this, these, uh, these three people in, uh, in the case of k is equal to fp. But actually what I really prove in, um, uh, in this talk is much stronger than just this equality, but I would say some in, in, enhanced version of characteristic class, uh, namely it's a uh, infinity enhancement in some infinity categorical enhancement of this, this equality, which allows us to upgrade this just equality of characteristic class to a characteristic cycle. This, uh, <clears throat> this procedure of upgrading from characteristic class to ca uh, characteristic cycle is, uh, <clears throat> is, has been done in, uh, in, in a paper of balance and in the, Topological epsilon factors, and I follow exactly the same strategy here. But I, I don't, I don't talk about that part today. <clears throat> okay. So, are there any questions so far? So, let me move on to the, to the idea, key theorem of the, of the construction or. Ah, yeah, I have to say that. So in the proof, I, I have to reinterpret the, the definition uh, 
oh, I would say re redefine the characteristic cycle in some somewhat different manner. And in order to define uh, a characteristic cycle in this new way, I need some key theorems that I'm gonna talk, uh, talk in this section. So let X be a finite type separated scheme over K. We call that K was algebraically closed and I fix it, but this doesn't necessarily be uh, smooth. So it can be, can be singular. And um, here's one of the main constructions. One of the main players of uh, today's talk is uh, what I call a flat et al system. Uh, so this is a pre sheaf scheme of K op to, so this is just normal pre sheaf which values in abelian group. This is a pre sheaf uh, called uh, flat et al system. Um, of X. So this, I, I don't really define this, but I will tell you the, uh, the properties and, uh, and yeah, I will tell you the properties. <clears throat> so a system having following properties, following properties. Okay, so the first property is that, yeah, okay. The first property is that uh, I know I can describe the global section pretty uh, explicitly. This is just, this is just a grand group of the constructible sheaf. Okay, yeah, pretty easy. Second, so for any S, uh, when I when I write this scheme over K, this is I'm 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 assuming it's finite type and separated. Um, and S zero is a set of generic points, set of generic points. And then the the section. is a subgroup of this product. Okay, not the Grodin D group of constructible sheaf on X theta. So <clears throat> it determines by, uh, it's determined by the generic points of S. Yeah, okay. And thirdly, if I have S prime, then, uh, then the tran uh, transition morphism, oh, no, uh, restriction morphism. Thing. Restriction morphism is defined by nearby cycles. So, what does this mean? So, for for those who know of know about the uh, nearby cycle of general basis, I can describe this uh, this abelian group slightly more, slightly better. So, let assume that S is irreducible. Then, uh, F L et al. S uh, consists of of a uh, very good element, namely, namely, so if I'm given some constructible sheaf, so recall that eta is a, is a, is a generic point of S, okay? So this is very good. 
and cover show that this is oh okay this is very good if for any specialization maps see so you you write a very element what do you mean very good element yes oh, very, very, good. very good very good very good yeah very good elements meaning that if i have a sequence of specialization maps specialization maps on 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 S, sorry, maps on S. Then, similarly to, uh, then it, it makes sense to talk about the nearby cycle. So, uh, like like this. So it makes sense to talk about um, Iteration of nearby cycle. So, uh, S. Hmm? Oh, S going to A bar, C bar, eta bar of F. So, this nearby cycle is, uh, is defined just the same as the classical nearby cycle, but uh, Orgogo though called it uh, uh, slice nearby cycle. And uh, wait, wait, say, uh, called it the shredded nearby cycle. Anyway, it's a it's some some analog of nearby cycles, and I have this uh, transition property. Okay, this is this is called a very good uh, sheaf, uh, constructible sheaf. Well, not, I, I would say that I, I should say that not all the sheaves have this property, but all the all the sheaves have this property after blowing. Up S, and a um, very good element. A very good element is the element in the Grodendieck group that can be represented by this kind of very good uh, sheaf. Okay, <clears throat> and I need some slightly more condition in order to uh, define this guy, but that's not too important, so I, <laughs> I ignored it. That condition. So, so because of this transitivity. Uh, transitivity can, uh, condition, this base change makes sense. Ah, and I, I should, I, I forgot to say that plus some goodness condition, which means that uh, it's, it's uh, compatible with base change. So because of this very goodness condition, it makes sense to talk about this uh, restriction uh, map by using nearby cycle. So, so the, uh, by definition, this this map, uh, this this the element of this guy, it is defined on the generic point of of s prime, and I take the nearby cycle from the generic point of s prime to the generic point of s. Okay, that's the idea of how to define this FL. But if we have more components, then it has we 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 need some compatibility condition because uh, the nearby cycle from here this generic point to here. And this nearby cycle uh, from this generic point to here should coincide. <clears throat> okay. So to be to be sure, in some sense, you require a base change and this transitivity. Exactly, but Gabriel okay. showed that this is essentially the same. So if you have base so change, and this transitivity, you get the transitivity. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So maybe we will see it in the next lecture. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Okay, so so this sheaf, this pre-sheaf encodes all the data. Well, this this pre-sheaf encodes uh, nearby the, the, the data of nearby cycles. And uh, I should introduce some another uh, main player. Now it's a now I I turn to some other other story. We use six functor formalism. of motivic homology. Uh, this is after Blavatsky, uh, Ayob, Sisinski degrees, Sisinski degrees. 
Um, if you don't know it, it it's, you don't need to be to be worried about. Yeah, I just I just use a very formal properties of the uh, motive uh, of just six functor formulas. So uh, if you replace everything by by adult homology, the story doesn't change that much. Just uh, so uh, so for any s. Oh, sorry. There exists some, for any S, there exists, uh, so this is defined by, by these guys, um, DS. This is triangulated category uh, of motives, of uh, motives. So if you want to be more specific, it's uh, H, the one over P module. This H is a, a motivic Eilenberg MacLean spectrum. And uh, yeah, for me, the only important thing is that this is triangulated category. And, uh, and later I should, uh, I should upgrade this to a stable infinity category. So if you're familiar with the language, you, it's, it's better to consider it as a stable infinity category. So and we we have this assignment, and uh, this triangulated category is monoidal. So we have a unit element that I unit element is denoted by one one of s. Okay, and if I'm given some morphism, I have the usual uh, operations like shriek, which goes from t t to oh sorry, t t to d of s. And uh, and it's adjoints, so we have a joint property like this, like this, and also I have uh, the usual natural transform for any for any f, and uh, this is equivalence if f is proper, and also ah yeah, this is this is also very important. If I have S and uh, if this is a structural morphism, then the hum inside this E spec K can recover the child group. One, so one of spec K is just denoted by one. This is isomorphic to child zero of S P inverted. And uh, I also have trace formalism and, uh, and various formal properties like in the adult homology. <laughs> okay, I, I'm using this formalism just because I need this. So if I replace child group by, by some other uh, group in the, in the main theorem, you can just replace this this formalism, six functor formalism. So if we are given this kind of six functor formalism, we can formally define a relative, we have relative world more homology. Homology. What's this? So this guy is for a more homology, but I want to relativize it. So um, so I denote by so this is this relative world more, more homology as a pre sheaf. I denote by pi naught of h bar x b m. J from scheme over K up to billion group. This sends S to uh, um, yes of P or star shriek one S one S. Yep, 
oneness, where P is from XS to S. So this XS is just a base change of S. So it's just X cross S in our situation. And HOM is just taken in this triangulated, oh, sorry, triangulated category. But as you, as you can imagine from the, from the notation, and I also, in fact, the main player would be this guy without taking pi naught, which is from scheme over k of op to derived category of abelian groups. Well, in fact, this is infinity category of, uh, of the derived category of abelian groups. So if you don't know anything about infinity category, you can just think that this is a derived category of all abelian groups. But in fact, it has more information than just that. In the in taking this guy is just R harm in some sense. So that yeah, just because we are taking R harm, we have the value in the the drive category. <clears throat> okay. So by comparing because of this quality, the global section of this guy would be the tau zero. Okay. So characteristic class can be uh, interpreted as a map, as a map. Uh, CC, which is from this FL flat et al system, stack of K going to pi naught of DMX. Oh, by the way, pi naught is the same as H, H0, uh, the usual H0, the, the cohomology functor. But because Leary uh, loves to use pi naught rather than, than uh, Hmm. It's zero. I, I followed his uh, notation. So characteristic cycle. Uh, recall that the, the global section flat uh, et al system is just a K naught of constructible sheaves. So characteristic defining characteristic class is just as the same as having this map. Okay. Okay, so the key So the key idea, one of the key ideas is we construct uh, not only CC, but uh, a map of pre uh, FL at X going to pi naught of this H P M X, or more, or more generally, F L at P M F X. So if I take the pi naught of this this map, I I retrieve this this map. So this is more general than this one. So I I name it C C tilde. Okay, so let me let me give an idea how to define this now the, this map. So one of the points is that this FL at X is filtered by by dimension. Dimension of the support. Namely, recall that FL of X the, the flat et al system mm. on S is a subgroup of, of this shape of X eta bar, right? And the uh, and Grodnik group of constructible sheaf can be filtered by the dimension of the support of the of the of the sheaf. So this guy 
So D. So this is generate. This is a D dimensional part, meaning that this is generated by by sheaf of dimension less than or equal to D. Okay, so I just take the intersection. Uh, SD, sorry, S comma X comma D. It's just the intersection. Intersection of So the point is that if I restrict CC tilde to this zero dimensional part, then, uh, then the assignment is clear what we have to do, okay? So it is clear how to define how to define CC tilde restricted to FL it all x comma zero of uh yeah. Uh, excuse me. So yes. the, the, the dimension condition is preserved by taking the one near by cycle. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's because mm. of the goodness. Yeah, that's because mm. of the very goodness. Yes, yes. Yeah, mm. we, we have to check it, but uh, yeah, it's not so, mm. so hard to check. <clears throat> yes. As you can see, uh, right, where is CC tilde? Yeah, here's CC tilde. So, so this is a map that we want to construct. And if I restrict it to, to, to the zero dimensional part, then, the, then, then this map, uh, this, the restriction to this zero dimensional part is is easy because this is the reason is that so, namely, so K naught of cons uh, zero of X theta. This guy is just uh, just direct sum of ZX and the Z is just, this is by just by taking the dimension and this is a close, point of dimension zero. So, you know, in order to define the characteristic cycle of the just pointed chief, that's that's easy, right? It's just, uh, that's, you just take the associated uh, chow graph. And uh, even in this relative situation, it's the same. So if I have S, then I have X to the S and I have eta here. And on eta, I have just zero dimensional points. That's, uh, that's well, since we are only considering the, this FL, it's uh, FL of uh, FL at zero of S is smaller than this guy, but in any case, it's just the support is just zero dimensional. So I, it's just taking the, the closure, it's like, the nearby cycle is just taking the closure. So I, I get the relative zero cycle here. So this is relative zero cycle. So if you, if you look a little bit closer, then you will see that CC tilde can be defined easily by, by trace, trace map It's just, now. And the and the construction is straightforward. So the question is how to extend this uh, this this map from the zero dimensional part to the the whole part or whole part. And here the key theorem. The ex I, I would call it extension theorem. The map. 
map is like com, but uh, if I'm in the context of uh, infinity category, people likes to denote it by map. So it's not just a home. Uh, anyway, it's just, if you, if you like, you can replace it by home, but uh, that's well, x not of HBM. So this is just taking the restriction. And uh, we also have the same, even if we replace this x by y. You see, uh, so if I replace by y, it goes from fl et of x to hbm of y, okay? So it's different schemes. So this is a key theorem. So if we have the cc tilde restricted to fl inside here, fl zero, cc tilde restricted to fl zero here. And uh, because of this equivalence, it can extend uniquely, almost uniquely to a map between flat et al system to a relative Borel-Moore homology. That's the content of the theorem. So when you have Y, you, you have a proper system from X to Y? No, no, no. You, you, it's a, yeah, when I, I have Y, it's just, just any mm. Y. You don't need any more physics. Just any Y. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, in fact, this, this I axiom, axiomatize uh, the, the condition when, uh, when this kind of equivalence happens. And uh, yeah. Uh -huh. So this is kind of abstract uh, theorem. If we have certain structure on here and not on, on here. Okay. Um, so let me, let me talk about the heuristics, why this, uh, this key theorem should hold. And that's Lohmann's deformation argument. Okay, so assume we are given some F, which is an element of flat, oh, sorry, what's this? Flat doll system X on S. And uh, yeah, assume we are given some F and we want to, we want to define this. Uh, yeah, yeah, anyway, we have, and assume that there exists some EF which can be considered as a deformation of F inside. So, so this guy is a deformation. So, ah, yeah, box is just P1 minus one. So this is isomorphic to a fine line, but just a, so this is, box is the same as a fine line, so. And uh, by deformation, I mean, if I restrict to the, uh, to zero, this is just the same as the original F. And uh, I deform it to the infinity, S cross infinity. And assume that we are very lucky so that this deformation, the infinity, at at the infinity, if I restrict to, restrict to infinity, this belongs to the, the zero dimensional part, okay? It seems that we can find such a deformation in this. So this is just a condition inside this FL of it. Now, I assume given uh, phi, And let's see how PM and the uh, phi naught is by definition, it's just a restriction to the zero dimensional part. FL at zero. Now we have the following diagram. 
Um, so I have this HBM of X and S. And uh, since I have X, so I have the projection. So since it's a uh, pre-sheaf, I have a morphism to uh, S cross box. This is just defined by the projection. And I, I can further restrict it to zero. I can further restrict it to the infinity. So I have this, this map, this is isomorphic. Ah, uh, to simplify the, 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 the argument, I just consider it uh, one categorical. Yeah, you have to upgrade this to uh, infinity categorical language, but, uh, but I think that's too much for today, so. So I have here phi of EF, right? And I, if I restrict it to zero, that's gonna be phi of F. Uh, yeah, hmm? yeah, phi of F. If I restrict it to the infinity, this is phi of EF restricted to S cross infinity. And this is nothing but phi naught of F of the same, same object. Um, okay. And one of the, the, the important property of this HBM is that it's A1 invariant. So that means that this is isomorphic. So that means, so I, I have phi f here, right? And because of these, these isomorphisms, uh, yes. So phi f should be sent to here. So as a, as a conclusion, Phi f has to be, well, if it is infinite category, it should be on topic to this guy. So you'll see that if we have this phi, phi naught, the whole, oh, oh my God, this is just whole, this phi of f is determined when, once we have this kind of EF, the element EF. So yeah, this is just, a, just I'm just talking about the uniqueness of the extension, but uh, similar argument holds in the, we can also say it's the, the existence theorem. Once, well, in fact, it just, just the exist, not only the existence is enough, but this existence should, should uh, behave uh, functorially. But if we have suitable functorial <laughs> extension of E, we can argue similarly to extend phi naught to phi. So the point is how to, <clears throat> how to construct such e EF. So, so this argument says that if we can find suitable, EF, we have the extensions here. We have the key theorem. And uh, so Lawman's work, work on Fourier transform, just uh, how to how to find this E of F, how to find E of F. Namely, I, I consider for any function, 
well, I need to, I need to consider it locally. But uh, for any function, assume that X is uh, fine, for example, we may consider E of F comma F, which is by definition F tensor width L F times T Here, um, so here L is art and trier sheaf. So I'm fixing some additive character, non trivial additive character. And T, this is a coordinate of box. So F times T. So f times t, define a map from x cross box to a1. And the pullback of the art and trier sheaf on a1 is denoted by this guy. <clears throat> so, okay, so we have to show that this, uh, this deformation is enough to, enough, enough uh, information to, to show the key theorem. Oh, by, by the way, I have one remark before going to the next step. If, yeah, to justify my, my construction is something meaningful, I just want to remark that if F is isolated characteristic in the sense of Takeshi, characteristic, stick, with respect to F, then E F comma F restricted to spec K times infinity. This guy is actually inside, this is inside flat et al system. Uh, just if it is a function, it can be viewed as a function uh, as a function on one when s is equal to spec k. So this guy is a priori, a priori defined in the product of the of the Grodendy group. And my claim is that this guy is actually inside this uh, is a global section of the flat et al element, meaning in other words, it's uh, it's very good and coincide with with the zero cycle appearing in Milner's formula. So when I take F to be isolated characteristic, this E, this deformation gives us a, something well known. Something that, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that, that's already used. And uh, here's two main uh, obstacles to carry out this prog program. I don't, I don't think I have time to explain how to resolve these uh, obstacles, but uh, two main obstacles. To carry out, carry out this program. The so first, this E of F. So as I said, I, I, I was a little bit careful in, in stating here. I said that this, I have E of F comma uh, F. And this is in, this is defined inside F L of et al. But in, in general, this guy, since I'm taking uh, taking the tensor product, this F is very good. But if I ten, take the tensor product, it destroys the very goodness. So in general, this E of F comma F is not 
it's not very good. So this is this guy. It's not necessarily being a flat et al system. But the philosophy of uh, of uh, uh, of I think Orgogo though um, of the general uh, of the nearby cycle of the general base it says that if we take the modif a modification suitable modification this e any sheaf is defined inside the uh, any sheaf can be turned into a very good good one and the same thing is happening here so this ef is not is not defined in fl at x of s product uh, s time box but there exists a modification such that this guy is inside a flat at all system So goodness is uh, is attained after modification. So this simple picture uh, breaks down, you know. So this, since uh, I, I want this to be inside S cross square in order to use the A1 invariant here. But in fact, this guy is not inside here. So I, I need some sort of descent argument to go back to S cross square. So that's so since I'm I, I'm I'm going to use some descent argument. That's one of the reasons that I need uh, infinity category categorical language to carry out this uh, this program. <clears throat> and another issue is that this f is not in general. Ah, and restricted sorry. Restricted to the infinity. It's not in general in the zero dimensional part. So the idea is to iterate this uh, this procedure. So I, I so I iterate taking the C of some 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 f uh, some f g and then I take another e uh, some other function h and blah 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 but the point is that all the sequence of I I have to consider all the sequence of fun functions and after that we have to make it zero dimensional but uh, there there has to be some sort of uh, homotopy. Uh, between all the all the sequences, okay. <clears throat> so in, in the infinity categor categorical language, I, I should say that this the sequence sequence of functions attaining uh, so this e iteration attaining uh, zero dimensional is parameterized by contractible spaces, uh, by a constructible, con contractible space, meaning that it doesn't depend on the choice of the functions. That uh, this is a condition. Uh, so yeah, these are two, two main obstacles that appears in the, in the proof, in the program. So now it's just, uh, it's just one minute, how to conclude the argument, how to show the push forward formula. So I have X to Y, this is H, and I want to show that this, this diagram commutes. I, I have to show that this diagram commutes. So this is CC of X, CC of Y. Then the extension theorem states that uh, to, to check the commutativity, commutativity uh, 
suffices to show after restricting to restricting to this fl at x naught this is just a this is just a property just a property of trace map okay that's it thank you very much thank you thank you very much so first let's thank the speaker are there any questions or comments please raise your yeah. hand yeah, okay, uh, so can I... Takeshi, yeah, yeah, please go. Yes. Yeah, uh, thank you very much for the beautiful lecture. So, uh, yeah, uh, for this character cycle, uh, Takeuchi has uh, refinement uh, involving mm -hmm. epistemal factor. Yeah. Does your, uh, so does your machinery uh, works for this category, uh, for this setting? Um. It's just answered with uh, with some. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. Mm. Yeah, it seems so. Uh, yeah, it will be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So we have a question from uh, Adil Khan. So you can. Uh, 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 sorry. Okay, yeah, I think I was, Yeah, could you ask your question? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, it was a very interesting thought, talk. Uh, thanks a lot. So I had a question just maybe more technical about the, um, in the CC tilde, uh, mm -hmm. you kind of refine CC into, um, you make the target this kind of infinity categorical thing. Um, yeah. So I was a bit surprised that, like, do you, do you also want to replace the source by, like, some higher categorical thing as well, like maybe instead of K0, take the higher K3 space or something? In fact, in order to, yeah, the, the point is that this is this is one, one categorical. That's one of the points of constructing that, uh, of showing the extension theorem. So yeah, of course, we I, I can formulate infinitely categorically, but the point is that it's not so easy to, yeah, construct such an object. So the point here is that this guy is easy to construct in some sense because it's one categorical. But I, I can, I can, I can formulate infinitely categorically the extension theorem, the key theorem. But uh, but I'm not sure how to how to how to construct such an object. I'm not sure if that's the uh, answer to your question, but. Uh, Okay, so Adil, you also uh, raised your hand. Are you satisfied with the answer? Or we have another question. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I I, uh, I I muted myself and then I wasn't able to respond to the the answer. But oh. yeah, but uh, I kind of yeah. Then I have a follow up question, I guess, which is um, somehow it's yeah. It seems surprising that there could be such a map from um, from just the K zero because I mean if you if you have some equality of K0 classes, but you don't mm -hmm. really remember the kind of uh, higher categorical thing that this comes from, like, uh, you know, some exact triangle or something, or mm -hmm. let's say you just, you have isomorphic uh, mm -hmm. sheaves, but you don't remember the isomorphism. But then in the target, you really have to construct some, some explicit homotopy between the images. Mm -hmm. So a priori, it seems surprising that this would be possible, right? Or am I missing something? Hmm. Well, I should say that this is kind of very discrete thing. So even if you if you just stick to, I don't know how to how, how to answer it. And even yeah, my my view, my point is that this is kind of very very discrete thing and doesn't. Um, yeah, but that's that's exactly why it's it's surprising, I guess, because. I mean, okay, like let's say in general, if you have a map of spaces, then you get some induced map on the pi zeros or the H zeros, right? But but you wouldn't get a map from the pi zero of the first one to the, um, you know, to the original space, the target space. You yeah. would only get a map to the pi zero of the target space. So that's the kind of 
situation, which here it seems that you're saying that for some reason it's actually true, or you're claiming that it's, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. that you get you get such a map for them. So mm-hmm. I, somehow a, a priori it seems surprising. Like if you just have some isomorphic, yeah, it seems like you would really want to remember the isomorphism or whatever higher higher categorical data of sheaves that yeah. gave you this equality on in K zero. Yeah. That's why I just confused about that. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, do, uh, are there other questions? I don't know how to raise hand. I, I, ah, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I, 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 I tried to. I, I'm, so I want to just a small points. Uh, so you, you have this uh, function depending on, on x up mm-hmm. to s. Yeah. You you t- take tensor with out in Schreier, yeah. and then. You said now if f is an isolated characteristic with mm-hmm. respect to f, then uh, so uh, the notation doesn't uh, seem too much because there is no s in the conclusion. Is it? Does it mean s? That s, is not, s ah, is, is s, s is spec k in that case. Okay, uh, and then in this claim, s is just spec k. Yeah, and then you write that this is a flat et al system mm-hmm. on the. Uh, on spec k, but probably you mean that it is a flat et al system on uh, on the on the Here. on everything. Oh on no the, no yeah yeah, oh. yeah you're right no 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 sorry so yeah yeah you're right you're right you're completely right. Mm-hmm. Um, I I meant this guy yeah, yeah 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 this guy is a flat local system of box sorry yeah you're right mm-hmm. both yeah this is both yeah, yeah, natural yeah. and yeah, then yeah, yeah. I did not mm-hmm. understand the discussion uh, maybe. Uh, the first question of Takeshi was uh, he mentioned something about a refinement of epsilon factor. I did not follow what was the. Can you repeat what was the information on? Yeah, so the character circle is, has a question to z, but uh, Takeshi defined uh, some refinement. So in, in his case, the, fact- the question to Takeuchi. 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 Modulo yeah. Q, something like this, right? Ah, tensor Q, tensor Q. Yeah, yeah, tensor Q. You, you kill, yeah, you kill uh, a root of unity. Yes. Okay. Ah, the, yeah, yeah, Q L cross. Okay. Tensor Q. Yeah. Yeah, something yeah. like. That. Ah, okay. So this is a, 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 a yes. So this somehow d- d- describes the, the determinant of uh, Frobenius. Modulo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes, okay. And then, one, yeah. one and what is the relation of this to this? No, no, this? I, just a speculation. I think it's we can. I, I think I can upgrade this picture to that version, but I, I, I didn't check in detail. Oh. And uh, also, of course, your your goodness or very goodness is for classes in the Grotendi group. So, in other words, you don't care if a particular representative. You, you just want things to match in the growth in the group, not uh, not that uh, it seems that you don't what no 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 so it's just uh, it's just there exists some good 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 sheaf such that which represents uh, the class no but is it enough that you mm-hmm. have uh, fiber wise let us say that you have uh, uh, on the geometric generic fibers mm-hmm. some, uh, and then after some modification you get or actually alteration because they are defined over some, uh, okay. You get something after some alteration mm-hmm. and the family of classes in the Grotendi group descends to, to, to a family parameterized by geometric points of the base. Is this the sufficient? It's not CDH chief, so. No, 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 no. What, what I'm. SL, ah. it is not CDH chief. But of course, you can you can replace it by CDH chiefification, but uh, it's not. Oh, it is not. It is not what I said. You you really want that there is a, a, a representative which is a, 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 yeah a, a representative object in the bound category which is good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, if there are no other questions, let's thank the speaker. Thank you. And, uh, 
we will meet in five minutes, the time that offer change the room. And we so, uh, so will start. Maybe five or 10 minutes. Okay, I, I am- No, no, uh, five minutes, five minutes. So Everything is ready now, okay? Okay, so, so I'm going down, uh, going down and uh, take the stuff and, and I hope I will 